a case study of what is actually going on right now in Lagos. There has been a project that has been handed over to the CCECC. It's a Chinese company, and they are the ones in charge of the railway project. Now, look at it this way. The Chinese people handle the projects. We just handle manpower, and they give us little manpower. We are talking of maintenance men that were flown in from China down here to Nigeria. They are handling expatriate positions, while us, we, we are the ones taking menial jobs. But now, let me tell you where it gets worse. They don't speak English. They don't teach us Chinese. So because they don't speak English and they don't teach us Chinese, let me tell you what is going to happen at the time their contract finishes. Nigeria is going to sign up separately for the maintenance of that system. I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. 80% of graduates in Lagos as at 2016 are homeless. Any Lagosian you see with a school bag is homeless. It's high time we stop hiding things from ourselves. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. We carry sweaters, we carry bags, and everybody is homeless. Everybody is living in fear. And let me tell you what is going on. Those that have the means to employ, do you know what they are employing? They are employing cooks. They are employing security guards. Apart from that, they are employing maids. So that's more job going to females, and the only job that is left for graduates is security, cook, cleaner. A graduate with a BSc now cannot do more in Lagos than be a cook, a secretary, or a cleaner. And let me tell you, it's not easy. We're already competing for that position now. A lot of people, they will not employ Nigerians. Do you know who they prefer to employ? They prefer to employ Togolese people, Togolese and Ghanaians. Imagine. So tell me, what, what's Lagos doing for me? We are celebrating Independence Day, but please, there's no independence. We are all in modern day slavery. This is modern day slavery. It's high time that Nigerians get enlightened. We need to use our head. We need to come together and start thinking for ourselves. Now, let me get this straight because I'm on air. I will say it again. If you are with a school bag walking around in Lagos, you are not wearing secondary school uniform. We know you, you are homeless. And let me tell you who to blame. Blame your leaders that put you in that situation. And I'll tell you why. The same politician that stole from you paid tight and offering. So go to your church. Tell your pastor that you are praying to God. Him too, you should pray for that politician that put you in that situation in the first place. I don't know if you people understand me, but for the few who are enlightened, it's good that you know. In order for you to solve a problem, you must first of all trace the genesis of that problem. A lot of people are seeing the problem. They don't know the genesis. They don't know the solution because they've not yet traced it down. And we are talking about selling assets. How many have we sold? By the time this interview is done, I hope they look behind me and they see a magnificent building that is standing in Lagos. That building is empty. There are a lot of great minds that could use that building, but that building is empty. It's just one of them. Oh. Go to Lekki and see how many abandoned houses are in Elegushi. So now you, you ask yourself, if all these things are going on in 2016, should I tell you what will happen by 2018? When the amount of homeless people in Lagos State have increased from 80% to 99%? So rich man, where will you be? Your houses in Lekki are empty. Houses in Banana too are empty because you cannot stay there. So tell me, the, the root of Nigeria's problem is greed. We need to check ourselves. We need to check our lifestyle. You are living in a very big mansion of 20 rooms. My brother, how many rooms can you sleep with? Ask yourself, how many rooms? You can only sleep inside one room. You are living in a mansion in 20 rooms. I want you to ask yourself this. You that big man sleeping inside that big, big house. Any day you come outside to sleep with any girl in your balance, they stroll and go under the bridge. You will see the reason why that girl is a prostitute. You will see the reason why your sons are bastards. We elect leaders without any understanding. And do you know why? How will a leader look through the contract he's about to sign and he will tell me that he did not provide space for graduates to get employed in a contract that he was handing out to foreigners? My brother, we need to wake up. If I on the street know this, then you that is inside that government office, if you don't know this, you don't deserve to be on that seat. All those any income are women. If you want to get a good job nowadays, I am not wearing mini skirts. You can't get that good job. Am I lying? Yes or no? And in case that's not hard enough for you, those women that actually get that good job, do you know that they are miserable? Secretary wants to sleep with a girl. Consultant wants to sleep with a girl. Guest wants to sleep with a girl. That is secretary plus eight more women trying to sleep with the boss. And do you know where the other men are? The men that God has said you, you should marry, they are, on, they, are, they are on the streets, or they are in security jobs, or they are cleaning the offices of the boss that you are trying to sleep with. So it's high time that we need to use our head.